Uh, <laughs> there we go. You comfy? Yes. Love you. Yeah. Okay, hang on. You wanna sit with me? Come on. Oh, what? Okay, I'm not ready. I'm not near as ready as I thought I was. <laughs> Welcome to Fiber Love Diary. I'm Trish. if we haven't met, and if we have met, welcome back. I'm so glad to see you. When last we met, I talked about the fact that John and I had gotten COVID again, and right after I finished filming that video, um, at least the chat part, I became way more congested and like my fever was gone, but I was really struggling just to like get things done because it's hard to walk around when your head is like Whoa. but yesterday maybe the day before it started to get a little bit better and so here we are i actually did something with my hair it's been a solid week since anything happened besides washing not kidding <laughs> i did put makeup on a few times because honestly there's like days where i just can't stand it i i feel like i need to like i don't know whatever so not saying that anyone has to wear makeup it's just the way I grew up and also the way I am and I'm okay with it so um anyway so this week I haven't really gotten a ton done I've been kind of just trying to catch up on housework because while I was sick I let that really fall I did some more dyeing so that'll be going in the shop as soon as it's dry the stuff that John and I dyed will be in the shop um by the time you see this so you guys have asked a lot of questions also about where is the shop now during vlogmas I talked about it but I know not everybody had a chance to watch everything and, and no I mean I'm not saying you know whatever it's fine if you didn't watch it it's fine no no worries I moved the shop in December to Shopify from Etsy anyways I added some stuff to my shop over like the last few months I did a few custom blended tops and I added them to my shop kind of quietly because I hadn't had the opportunity to really spin them that much yet I tried ice queen a bunch of you guys have seen it and ordered it and whatever I'll be reordering that because I can see I'm gonna sell out and then I also did this one and it's called Valentine and that's kind of what we're gonna talk about so Valentine has two different colors of sari silk and plus it is uh, was Valentine merino I think it's merino one of these is BFL, one of them is Corydale, and one of them is Merino. I was trying to use some different things besides Merino in the blended tops. So, and I, the Sari Silk is just so much fun, but it's shorter than the rest. And if you guys, um, I'm spinning this now. So let me um, insert a little bit of what it looks like spun so far. So this is how it's looking right now. It's a little more thick and thin texture, which I kind of picture for something like this. For me, this works. Could I make it smoother? I absolutely could, but so I, I don't know how long ago it was, maybe a year and a half or even two years maybe I did a video with some tips about long draw if you were wanting to start out with long draw or if you already were trying it but you were having some trouble I kind of like gave a couple of things that I think really help if you're learning long draw or if you're trying to improve your long draw and one of the things I talked about is if you're trying to learn don't use top and even though this has sari silk in it, which is a different length, this is still comb top that is just like combined. That's why they call it blended top. And you can see, let me show you. And you see tons of these right now. So you can see that these are multiple colors of top that are combined in this strip. So in this level of blending, you will see like stripes basically you can get them at all different levels of blending and I did three different levels but this is a one that you can see the different color stripes and we're all seeing these all over the place but one of the things I talked about is how when you try to spin top long draw it is more compressed and because everything's lined up once you start 
getting some twist in there, it's gonna wanna grab like everything at once, okay? And one of you guys messaged me that you were struggling with this stuff a little bit and I totally get it and to me, the problem she was having is like the most, I guess, normal issue with these. I gotta back up. So when you do this, when you combine a bunch of different colors of top, if I pull this apart like this, I don't know if it'll show on camera, but I can see the different colors kind of like hanging together more. Like this kind of reddish purpley color right here is wanting to stick with itself. Um, and that is very normal if you think about it. This color right here is wanting, I can feel it just coming out like in a clump. That's why sometimes you'll see people take these and pull them apart in color because the colors just kind of they're, they stay to their own top and it totally makes sense because that was pushed together, dyed together, all that stuff. And then it was a bunch of them were combined with each other. And like, so this is all still stuck to itself, but it's not as stuck to the other ones. I don't know, am I making sense? I hope I am. Oh. So I talked about this back when I was doing the long draw, but because these are two different lengths, I envisioned spinning this long draw. Now, I do have another thing I wanna try and I'll probably try it soon with one of these, but um, for right now, I am spinning this long draw, but I wanted to tell you guys what I'm doing that makes it a little bit easier to do with the blended tops because I bet you everybody here has some in your stash. I mean, sometimes we get them from Paradise. You're seeing them everywhere. So I bet you have some. And sometimes they can be hard to spin, especially if you want to try and spin them with any kind of woolen draft, really, because those colors wanna to hang together and grip all the other fibers. So if you saw that video, and I bet by now there's a lot of people who have not because it was back in the past. I guess I'll link it below. I like to control the twist up front. Um, you don't have to do that. That's not like a necessarily a, a need to do, but when you're first starting out, it's very, very helpful because you will feel with practice how much twist you want to go into your fiber supply to the draft ratio wise, twist to draft. You'll start to feel it more and more and you can stop it with this hand up front quickly at any given point. So that's one of the things I talk about in that video and I still do it. I just really like that control. <laughs> but especially I like it because I can also feel how much pull is happening against the fiber supply. And I like to keep my, um, my uptake on my wheel low. So it helps me to add some resistance against the fiber supply as I'm drafting like this. I will actually be pulling the fiber out a little bit. If you wanna spin the, the blended tops, there's two things that will really, really help you. And I'm gonna actually spin after I talk about this so you can watch me do it a little bit. I know that helps a lot of you, even though I could explain it from now to Kingdom Come, if you actually see it done, it helps. So first, if you're struggling with these, fluff them apart like this. You don't, you can pre-draft as well, but you're still gonna get some of those things stuck together. So fluff them apart sideways, it will help. And what I'll do when I do that is I'll go down maybe like six or eight inches down and re-fluff. Now, this is gonna make the colors blend more. So if you're wanting to keep the colors separate, I really always would recommend trying to spin from the top or separating the colors. But this is, um, for this one, I, I feel good. Like I want them to blend more, I'm good with it. Okay, so see how fluffed up that is? Look how wide that is. That's the whole thing. You could even separate this right here if you wanted to. And basically what you've just done is like make a mini bat. It, it's really gonna help when you try to spin this long draw and because of that sari silk, those fibers are way, 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 way shorter. I mean, they're short, like here, let me pull a little out. 
see how short those sari silk fibers are i want them to add texture i want them to add like a little bit of tweediness to it and so spinning long draw is the best way in my opinion it's only an opinion there's more than one right way to do everything spinning long draw is my best bet for <laughs> sorry my best bet for getting that texture that i want if you want something smoother, this is probably not the way that you're going to want to go. So I'm going to spin this for a little while and just show you what it looks like because I know that it'll help some people. <laughs> Please excuse my giant bag of roving. I'm hoping to get to this soon, but I just either I haven't been spinning a ton or I just haven't had time to get to it when I do start spinning. I end up other things get in front of it. So, so I am... I don't, wouldn't call it drafting, but I am providing some resistance up front against, and I'm watching as it drafts. To keep it from grabbing too much of, of the fiber at once. So it helps control the thickness I am getting some thick and thin that's just pretty normal when you have different lengths of fibers included but also I have showed you guys if you get a big hunk hang on let's see if we can get one that's sorry silk I don't want to let me see if I can let it go it's really hard for me to allow that to happen if you get a big hunk okay there's one section that's way thicker than what you want. What you can do is stop, put your hands on either side and untwist a bit, and then draft it until it's where you want it. And that twist will come right back into it as soon as you let go. All right, now here's the section that is too thin. So I'm gonna go and hold this up above it a bit and just let it grab a little more fiber. Again, here's one that's thicker than I want. So I'll just twist it and draft it out a little. And see how that twist goes right back in? I hope you can see. So then that brings it to the thickness when Gus is leaving. That brings it to the thickness more of what I want. So it's Monday and I have finished spinning that stuff. I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to come in really close and show you. I got 124 yards. I would say it's about worsted weight. I am definitely going to weave with this. I know exactly what I'm going to make in fact. Also I know I look crazy but I have been cleaning the closet in our master bedroom today and I have this huge stack of stuff I still need to put in the car to take to Goodwill. I've finally feeling enough energy to like do a few things. John helped me get the house like up to snuff this morning so which is I'm so grateful to him right now for helping. So I listed stuff in the shop. I got it all labeled and hung up and you know into inventory so that's so awesome. 
the I, as I was spinning it, I was thinking this color combo would make a, such a cool tweed and so like Valentine-y. I know Valentine's Day is kind of a Hallmark holiday, but still, I mean, it's fun, right? Everybody loves love, don't we? Maybe we don't all. I probably shouldn't speak for you guys. I love love. So, it, and also I figured I might as well film it because this is another thing you can do with blended top. So I'm gonna do that with a drum carter. You could also do this easily if you have a blending board or if you have hand cards. I don't have my hand cards, so I can't show you that way. A blending board isn't gonna be that much different. These colors, the colors are so good. And I think I'm gonna design a couple more blend tops with like a different base color and the sari silk because the texture and the colors together and the shine off the sari silk are just hitting me in like a really happy place right now. Maybe it's just me though, doesn't matter. Even if it is just me, it's gonna hit a few of you too. So what I'm gonna do is pull off a couple more ounces. I'm gonna run them through the drum carter. Then I'm gonna evaluate, do I think it's blended enough? Does it need to go back through again? I really want to weave this. So I want to make something a little smoother, but still with all the colors so it won't like, they won't get lost and for warp. I'm going to go pull some off the bump and we're going to run it through the drum carter. Okay, so here are the bobbins of the blended on the drum carter next to the finished yarn from the unchanged blended top. What are we doing? <laughs> You're going to have to scooch over. That's not quite enough room for mom's booty. Okay, I'm done. So this is the blended one. So the one that went through the drum carter is way more of like a heathered yarn with tweed from the sari silk and this one is just way more different color. I am going to weave these together. I'm so excited though. I wish you could see these in person because the color is just like so much better in person. But hey, I got eight ounces of fiber spun this week. I actually did some other plying this week so I did more than that. And it's gotten me kind of excited to spin again. I was kind of in a slump. So yeah, we're going to do some fun things coming up. Thanks for joining me for this Valentine spin. And I hope you come back for the weaving. I think it'll be next week. Thanks. I love you. Bye.